So let's talk about the refraction through the prism. So this A, B, C is a prism and then if this is the normal to this A, B line, when we keep the prism on any paper and if it rays out, it appears like a triangle and this is the normal. Now if you send the incident ray, the incident ray will pass in this direction. This blue line is representing the incident ray. This black line is normal. Now what happens because the line is this blue line which is representing the incident ray is entering into the denser medium therefore it comes closer to the normal. That means it is refracted. It will be refracted and after that it comes out from the denser medium uh, to the air again from this AC surface then it will be moving away from the normal. Now let us uh, visualize how this is done first and then we will talk about certain other terms. Now if you allow a specific ray We can see that I have allowed a ray along this blue line. Now if this line is bending into the prism, so you can see within the prism it is bent and then again it is refracted. So this is the final ray and this is the incident ray. And then this is refracted ray in the prism. So now I will take it out. I hope that it is visible for you. So one ray so one is the incident ray the other one is this one is the refracted ray within the prism you can see that it is almost parallel to the BC surface so you have to observe that this line then the refract emergent ray final emergent ray is along this pen okay so now what I would like to discuss. So here, so this is final ray, final emergent ray. Now if you extend that, it meets this blue Ray, this is incident ray, this is normal, this is uh, this incident ray, the path of the incident ray, this is path of the final ray. The angle between these two is called angle of deviation. So, if had there been no prism, it would have gone straight along the line of the blue, but by keeping the prism, it has gone finally in this direction. So, here this is angle of prism this is angle of incidence and if I join these two this this represents the refracted ray within the prism and then finally if I draw one pair normal here as it is entering into the rare menu it moves away from the normal this angle is called angle of emergence and this angle is called first refractive index first refractive uh, refraction angle of refraction this is second angle of refraction so we can say that this is r1 this is r2 and then this is emergence angle emergent angle that is e and the angle between the original incident ray and final emergent ray 
and this angle is angle of deviation so these are the terms to be discussed for the refraction through prism